Can't wait to get on the slopes. I'm really big on routines. Even when we travel, try to find a routine. So we kind of set this routine where we get up, we work out. So this gym, this hotel gym is awesome. They have so many bodybuilding machines and an entire free weight section and a rower. So I've been able to do some good CrossFit interval style workouts and a little bit of weightlifting. So I get up and do that in the morning. Then we walk and we get coffee down in the village. And then from there, eat breakfast and hit the slopes pretty much all day. It's been really fun. It's nice because we can get off, go eat lunch, and then come right back in or go right back out. So come in for lunch, go right back out. Uh, but this mountain has been so much fun because there's so many different bowls and you can take lifts to get to those bowls. And the mountain is huge. So the lift lines haven't been much longer than three or four minutes. So we get to do a ton of speed. a total blast like I kind of talked about earlier finding routine so I started my morning with a workout every day and at first I thought what the heck is wrong with me and then I realized we're staying at I think it's like 8,200 feet altitude and let me tell you I would not want to do thrusters and burpees in an open workout at this elevation so I hit different styles of workouts I got to play on different machines as well so I did the stair stepper one day I hit some really great intervals because they did have a rower and I still did CrossFit and bodybuilding so I feel really good and like I didn't just totally skip working out, but that would just set me up for the day on the slopes. The one day I did the stepper for 30 minutes, I noticed my legs were pretty tired on the slopes. So maybe don't do the stair stepper before you ski. But as far as skiing went, we really kind of figured out the mountain here at Vail and I had a total blast. You can literally take lift to lift and go all of these different bowls, which was absolutely beautiful. And the snow was actually, it was pretty amazing. We didn't get fresh snow while we were here, but it wasn't icy. And I felt like even from last year and the year before, I've continued to build. So I do have my own skis and I'm learning how to use my feet and kind of separate my lower body from my upper body and get a little bit more confident with keeping those skis close together. And I even hit a couple black diamonds today. Pat unfortunately didn't get to ski this trip and to be honest I'm super bummed about it because he makes me do things that I wouldn't do without him so I told him like I stayed right on the trails where when I'm with Pat we're in the trees and we're bobbing and we're weaving so that didn't get to do that but what we did do is he came up the gondola today and we got to see an impromptu proposal with the mountains in the background and it was absolutely beautiful that's actually the first time I think I've ever seen an impromptu proposal and it was it was really cool so we had a really awesome day he at least got to come up to the gondola and just kind of get a taste of the mountains but we're already looking forward to next year. Yeah, I'm definitely getting some looks like that guy looks like the rookie who came to Vail and broke his foot, <laughs> which at least I would have gotten a ski if that was the case. <laughs> made it up to the top of the mountain. I didn't get to do any skiing, but it was beautiful. Uh, I think this is a lot of fun. Definitely makes me pretty jealous. I thought it was going to be easy to just hang out, um, but being this close and not able to ski is definitely a total bummer. I'm actually, I'm not as mobile as I thought it was going to be either. Just doing more walking, my foot's actually pretty sore, uh, which I thought it was going to be less sore by now, but I think just because I'm using it, I didn't bring my scooter this go around. It's actually pretty limiting. So, but it is pretty, hopefully we'll get to come back again and I get to participate in some of the outdoor activities because this is right up my alley. What I have been doing though is working out probably more than I was at home. They've got a really sweet gym here. They've got like a two portion. So part of it's like kind of the functional fitness, the free weights, treadmills, stuff like that. And then they've got another section that's like full on bodybuilding gym with every piece of equipment that you could hope for. So I've actually been able to do more legs than I would have been able to at home. They've got quad raises, they've got uh, hamstring, hamstring curls, and everything else that you can really imagine. So I've been going down there twice a day, doing like a two hour session in the morning, and then an hour session in the evening, just hitting all of the reps. 
that at least has felt good, but being not nearly as active as I normally am with a broken foot, my eating's been a little bit different. Prior to leaving, I, kind of, I feel like I kind of had it dialed in, I had most of the carbs cut out, I was trying to double my protein intake so that I wouldn't lose any lean muscle mass. Definitely want to try to maintain as much as I can, you know, somewhat limited in the meantime. But the eating, like everything here, like spaghetti sounds good, like all the all the stuff that I probably don't need to be eating sounds amazing, just kind of being out here up on, up on the mountain. But I've tried to do my best to kind of order, order salads, still keep the protein intake up, and avoid at least the sugar sugary stuff. And, pepper and some beers here and there because we're on vacation. We are having an absolute blast. There's nothing like a good ski vacation. The mountains are so beautiful, but there's two things that I miss so terribly. First, I'm sure you guys can get guess, my dog, Milo. If he could be here, things would be perfect. And then second is my eight sleep. I've woken up hot in the middle of the night and there's just nothing like your own bed and that cooling system to keep you nice and cool throughout the night. And I don't toss and turn and I sleep like a rock. I can honestly say I have not slept like a rock and I cannot wait to get home to my eight sleep. Eight Sleep is the sponsor of this video. If you're looking to up the quality of your sleep or sleep better, definitely check out Eight Sleep. I'm gonna link it below. But the Eight Sleep is a cooling system that not only cools your body throughout the night, but it can also heat as well. So the other cool thing about it is it has this really awesome app that checks your heart rate, it checks your HRV, it tells you how many times you toss and turn at night, how much deep sleep you got, how much REM, all of these really awesome things. And not only do I miss my Eight Sleep and absolutely love mine, but my mom also does too. We got one for Christmas and I miss mine too because I'm just like her and I wake up hot in the middle of the night and I love that thing. And what do you think? I like getting in my warm bed and <laughs> when I go to bed I'm waking up warm so I miss that part too. <laughs> so we definitely love it. Don't tell your baby when I'm walking the streets I know you're feeling the heat, believe